what's up y'all this is your girl megan welcome back to my channel the hood astro queen to all of my returning subscribers however if this is your first time on my page today do me a solid and hit that subscribe button because you know you want to also to schedule a personal natal chart reading contact me at astro world that's astro w-e-r-l-d at gmail.com so now that that's out the way I am coming to y'all on this evening with a uh, another celebrity birth chart reading. Now, this reading was inspired by me just really going on different blog sites. And I saw uh, 50 Cent and Tierra going at it. Like they have this long going or ongoing feud where uh, I believe he's suing or he sued her. Or she sued him and whatever. So they're in the courts. Uh, Tierra has yet to pay him his money and whenever something happens like he takes to social media and he'll make these memes and he'll say stuff like bitch give me my money whoop, whoop, whoop. and everybody laughs and it's like oh <laughs> 50 is so funny he's so clever he is so petty and people just kind of celebrate it me on the other hand I'm personally kind of growing tired of um, just really supporting 50 in his childish ways, to be quite honest. And as he gets older, and shit, as I get older, I'm starting to view his actions uh, more so as a cry for help or just an indication of him being a miserable ass person as opposed to it being entertaining. So that prompted me to take a look at his birth chart. And I'm gonna just do, you know, a quick little reading because I did find some interesting stuff. So, 50 was born on July the 6th, 1975 in New York City. Now, this makes him a cancer son, Gemini Moon. And his son is at the 13th degree. And that 13 deals with uh, death and sudden or violent transformation, violent change. Which is interesting because... Cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon deals with the mother, right? And uh, his mother actually did die. She died when he was very, very young. I think he was still like a small child. She was involved in street life and things of that nature, which you can also see from the chart, but we'll get to that later. Um, so I thought that was quite interesting. And then also given his, I mean, because he has such a very kind of, um, broken or dysfunctional background so he didn't know his father his mother passed early on she was in the streets I believe she was even um like bisexual I mean that really had nothing to do with it but I just remembered that um and if you guys have seen his movie he had a movie called get rich or die trying which was loosely based on his life you were able to see that he didn't really come from a functional background he was taken in by his grandparents and raised, uh, you know, alongside his uncles and aunts. But, you know, that was pretty much the only source of structure that he received. So with that being said, a lot of um, cancers, especially, do have a hard time adjusting if they grew up um, or if they had a childhood that was very traumatic or just dysfunctional. And it's very similar to Virgo. Uh, cancers can't function when they don't have stable roots okay they have a very hard time but anytime you have a cancer who grew up in a very just unstable uh background they're i mean it, it literally will manifest in a lot of ways and it's not going to be pretty and then when you add the whole uh component of his mom not being there i think i, I put this in one of my videos but cancer men specifically when they don't have a relationship with their mother because they thrive off of that feminine energy granted by the moon, they can turn out to be some real nut jobs. So right off rip, that explained a lot. Now his having his um, moon at the 11th degree of Gemini. Well, I don't really know if his moon is at the 11th degree. We don't have his time of birth. So fuck that. He's a Gemini moon and his moon is also conjoined to his Mercury though. I will say that. And that also explains a lot as well because, you know, this creates, this can create somebody who is very much, even like insensitive. 
It also explains that witty nature. I always say that um, Gemini influence, because I mean, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, is a great placement or um, it's a great energy to have in your chart as a rapper because it makes one very witty, very um, good with the hands, you know, a great writer. You're able to craft together sentences and even with his comebacks you know via the internet people know him to always have a clap back to always have something to say back and be super duper petty and whatever that's Gemini all day it can actually even point towards him looking to actually create conflict just out of sheer boredom okay that's that Gemini energy also and then uh, let's see his Mars is in his Mars is at the third degree of Taurus, which deals with him. First of all, it deals with him suing uh, Tierra Marine because Taurus is all about finances. We'll get, we'll get to that later. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. And then his Chiron was another thing that stood out to me, too. His Chiron is in Aries, okay, and... This deals with him being shot nine times, actually, especially because Chiron or Aries rather deals with um, guns, right? It deals with guns. It deals with weaponry, violence, all of that. And then when you add in Chiron, which represents the wounded healer. Yeah, this can be like emotional wounds, but this could also be interpreted quite literally as physical wounds. His Chiron and Aries also deals with him being uh, self-absorbed, egotistical, and combative, especially towards women as his Chiron is trining his uh, Venus in Leo. So there's that. And it could also deal with him having these uh, like really quick, you know, short-lived, passion-filled, but dramatic and dysfunctional relationships with women and women in the entertainment industry at that, which isn't surprising because he dated Vivica Fox and, you know, that situation went straight to hell. And even to this day, this lady talks about 50 Cent. I'm like, his dick must have been popping. And then he dated, I think, Chelsea at Chelsea Handler. So, yeah, he's been known to date women within the industry. Sierra as well. His Chiron is opposing his Uranus and Pluto, which deals with him um, being wounded at the hands of an enemy or creating enemies. This can even potentially get him killed, which he came very close to dying after the whole getting shot nine times thing. Um, this makes him very hard to get along with others. This can make him somebody who kind of isolates himself. Also, this can make him very um, suspicious of other people. This can make him somebody who treats other people and like everyone around him as a potential enemy and which kind of prevents him from being able to get too close to people. And he does this as a defense mechanism a lot of times out of feeling like insecure. So there's this need to kind of even suddenly like going through sudden and unexpected bouts of like just like asserting yourself as the dominant figure, you know, and this could even be done by way of attacking other people. Like I said, and it doesn't have to be um, a defensive attack. A lot of times it could be offensive and which can obviously also gain him a lot of enemies uh, as his Pluto and Uranus are in Libra, which deals with open enemies. Also deals, it also deals with the courts. Okay. And, with his Chiron being conjoined to his Mars, um, his Taurus Mars, that is, uh, this could absolutely <laughs> deal with him being or encountering issues uh, with the legal system, um, him having debts, uh, owing the IRS. Uh, and I think he filed for bankruptcy um, maybe a year or two, maybe a few years ago. But with this setup in his chart, I'm thinking it's not because he was broke. He has a lot of indicators of him actually being the quite like quite the opposite. Somebody who really values and places a high value on money and security because he is a Taurus South Node. Um, yeah, that Mars conjoined to his South Node. 50 is actually greedy, like very greedy. He can be materialistic and very much only concerned with 
what he has going on, like financially stingy, even to the point where he might intentionally have avoided paying like people their money, you know, or paying the debt. So it's not because he didn't have it. It's because, you know, he didn't want to give it. <laughs> and his Jupiter is actually conjoined to his Chiron um, and Aries, which on the positive side makes him somebody who is very much like self-focused, um, like driven, a leader. It definitely explains his success in like his entrepreneurial pursuits because 50 actually made more money off of his business ventures than his rap career. I mean, while he was in the rap game, he was very impactful as an artist, but his outside ventures, we're talking vitamin water, um, and a a whole bunch of other shit, G unit and some more shit. He actually has been able to do a lot on the business side and that all of that, that's Aries energy all day long especially with Jupiter, but it can also be his downfall. And with his Jupiter and Chiron, um, and when I say it can be his downfall, that since that Aries energy of like me first, right? Me first, uh, being selfish, pig headed and combative. So it proved beneficial during like in business, right? And him achieving a lot of success in his business ventures and even in the music industry, But it can be like a double edged sword in the sense of like, um, yeah, like him, him creating issues for himself in that same, in that same vein. So his Jupiter and and, um, Chiron rather are squaring his Saturn. His Saturn is in cancer. Oh, Lord. So it's it's conjoined to his son. First of all, this gives him a lot of karma. He has a lot of karma attached to women. Which explains his issue, like, because it really does seem like um, 50 is, like, very, what's the word? Just, mm, he gives me, like, this Neanderthal caveman vibe. Some of that is uh, his Taurus Mars, but, and him him being a Taurus South Node also. Um, But, yeah, he has a lot of issues with women. And understandably so, given his background. But um, he's nobody that I would want to date. And I'm, that's just straight up. He also has a lot of karma uh, concerning family. This could even indicate him actually harming his own family um, by projecting a lot of his issues. Which is interesting because his son, his eldest son, he and his eldest son are beefing. Like he's legit beefing with his eldest. I think his son is maybe like 20 or something, 21 I'm like, how the fuck are you beefing with your oldest son? And that's reinforced with his son uh, being conjoined to Saturn. This could even make him devoid of love, nurturing, and attachment towards his eldest son. Which is why it's so easy for him to say stuff like, I think he said, like, I wish you were dead. Or if you died, I wouldn't wouldn't care or something like that. But this get up can also uh, explain him being raised by his grandparents. Because Saturn is uh, a planet of the elderly. So there's that. And while we're on his son, his son is forming a quincunx to his Neptune, which makes him somebody who has a lot of secrets. Um, I just don't trust him. It makes him kind of even like a a shady character, somebody who is prone to lying. And it doesn't help the fact that his Mercury and Moon are opposing his Neptune because Neptune and harsh aspects to Mercury can absolutely make you a liar and then when you take into consideration that that Gemini energy him being a Gemini moon and Mercury uh, can even make him be the type of person who can lie without any type of remorse (laughs) like any type of like afterthought like tell a whole fucking lie and at the very least with his Neptune being in Sagittarius he could just be somebody who exaggerates completely His Neptune is opposing his moon, um, which also deals with uh, his mom being a victim. It deals with his mom even potentially being a drug addict, definitely a drug dealer. And this could point towards um, his mom being absent earlier on. And then also him idolizing his mom or putting her up on the pedestal. Like he has this image of her that's um, 
you know, that kind of, he, he, it sticks with him throughout his life and he kind of looks at her as like the best woman ever. You know what I'm saying? His son is forming a trine to his Black Moon Lilith. His Black Moon Lilith is at the 16th degree of Pisces, y'all. And this just reiterates him being, like I said, a liar, man. He's And he's caught up and he's dealing with a lot of shady stuff. He can be, 50 is a very shady person. It deals with him victimizing his own son. Um, it can deal with um, him having or lacking boundaries. And that's just with his children. So this might even be an issue for his second, because he does have a second child. But some, I think some Asian lady or Hispanic lady, but, but that son is maybe like five or something. Um, but he's definitely going to be the type to have issues uh, with boundaries, going to want to be the type to control his children. And if they don't, you know, it's going to be a, a problem. Um, and this could, once again, involve him being self-absorbed and then even just not being in his son's life altogether. The oldest one, that is. Uh, and then his son is squaring Pluto, which, I mean, just makes the situation that much worse. It can make him somebody who is uh, who is even enemies with his own children, with his Pluto being in Libra. And it can deal with somebody who has issues with money, okay, due to being cheap, um, the IRS, issues with the IRS, debts. And who can have a lot of ongoing legal battles. And somebody who can even have issues with their home. Um, like getting their home um, foreclosed on. or And I, I think there was a situation where he had to sell his home or something like that. Yeah. People who end up losing their homes due to legal situations. So that's what that aspect produces. His Venus is trining. Is it trining? Yeah, it's trining his Mars which remember is conjoined to his south node, Chiron, Jupiter, and his Uranus, Nort. Um, yeah, so it makes him petty, problematic. It makes him a narcissist. And then with his Mercury uh, and his moon trining Pluto, this makes him, um, well, number one, it deals with him having a lot of enemies and a lot of like local enemies. He could have grown up uh, being like this same type of controversial figure that he is like on a global stage. He was more than likely that way growing up. It can make him abusive, um, emotionally abusive, even physically abusive, especially with his Venus trying in Mars. Um, it makes him obsessive, uh, susceptible to scandal and controversy, especially in the media. And it can make him somebody who, only knows how to be argumentative um, and it could put him at odds with many of the people around him. It also makes him a master manipulator. So he has a lot of stuff going on. He has a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, so I didn't want to make this an all night thing. This concludes my video. Y'all drop down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, practice unconditional self-love. So that you can love others. And until next time, I holla.